Many are looking forward to the countdown. Gyms are preparing to take on new members, which means crowded fitness clubs. If you're anything like me, you're still full from the holidays, but for some of you, it's time to get fit. KHK's Maya Owens has our story. It's the end of the year and some are carrying a little extra weight. Which is why many people will be making their New Year's resolution to go to the gym. Uh, with the New Year, we're going to see an increase of people coming in the gym. Typically January 1st, a lot of people are going to be coming in here, the New Year's resolutions. DePaulo says gym membership increases by at least 50% during the first month of January, a spike that current members can easily see. There's always a new wave of new people and uh, coming to the gym after the New Year, making their New Year's resolution to lose weight, so that's the New Year's always a time when a bunch of people are in the gym. Bo has been coming to this gym for nearly five years. It keeps you healthy and I want to make sure um, I stay in a good all around shape. But despite an increase of people hitting the weights, they tend to see less people as the year goes by. On uh, February or March is when um, the majority of the people stop, um, you know, coming to the gym. Around March or something like that, a lot of them will drop off. They'll still have memberships, but they'll just drop off. U.S. News reports nearly 80% of people quit their New Year's resolutions by February. But trainers here say that can easily be avoided. Well, you wake up every morning and you brush your teeth. It's just second nature. You don't really think about it. So consistency is key. The key to success. My Owens, KETK News. Consistency is key. Psychologists found the best way to tackle your New Year's resolution is to start small, pick something you can stick to.